Hey, how you doing? This is Adam Post, publisher of more than a thousand comic books, and I've been covering Disney and Star Wars pretty closely these last several months. Well, we now know that Disney intends to cancel Luke Skywalker. They don't need him anymore. God forbid they should make a movie based on Luke Skywalker. You've got Mark Hamill, actually, still alive and running around. Probably could do an excellent story with him. However, they don't want to do that. They want to focus on their new Star Wars character. Now, we know this in a couple of ways. One, there is an article from Bounding Into Comics talking about a rumor that Lucasfilm claims Luke Skywalker is, quote, not a significant part of the matrix of new content going forward at Lucasfilm. But also, we know from all the way back in 2019 that the last Star Wars movie was supposed to be wrapping up the Star Wars Skywalker saga. They've been saying this for years from Washington Post back in 2019. It's hard to believe you would own Star Wars. You own Luke Skywalker. You own Han Solo. But these things are not important because you've got something much more important to do with the name Star Wars. You're not interested in the characters. The thing of it is, is there is nothing to a name. It's the characters that inhabit the franchise. It's the character's story. We can't relate to a name. We can only relate to a human being or a human being-like character in a story. That's how we enjoy and get into a story. So it's incredibly ridiculous to think, okay, we just don't need Luke Skywalker anymore and we're gonna kinda let it be known that we're wrapping it up, we're not interested in him anymore, but let's get into this article from Bounding Into Comics and find out what the latest rumor is all about. Before we do, please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. I really appreciate you guys. A new rumor claims that Lucasfilm has given directives that Luke Skywalker will not be a significant part of the matrix of new content going forward. This new rumor comes from Scooper WDW Pro, who's got a great YouTube channel, who most recently scooped Lucasfilm's recently Ray-focused Star Wars film that was announced at Star Wars Celebration 2023. In this new scoop, WDW Pro's source informed him that Lucasfilm has had a meeting with Hasbro, a consulting firm, and others where they detailed that Luke Skywalker will never again be a main character in Star Wars. WDW Pro added he will at best be allowed to be an occasional cameo character. Now this is really not that shocking because we know that Disney owning Lucasfilm has caused them to completely gut the Star Wars franchise and try to convert the brand into something completely different, which they've really been desperately struggling with. They can't even make movies anymore. From there, WDW Pro relayed that Lucasfilm sees Luke Skywalker as a quote, cobwebbed character. He's a museum piece. He sells, but he's not a significant part of the matrix of new content going forward. So if Grogu is going to stay with Luke, then you lose Grogu. He's out of sight with the expectation glancing exposure. And for everybody in that meeting, that would have been catastrophic, he stated. Bro would further reiterate later in the video, the page has turned on Luke Skywalker, Lucasfilm said regarding current active media, cameos, and on-screen references to him are the best anyone can expect going forward, nothing more, don't ask. All the way from Kathleen Kennedy. Will Kathleen Kennedy ever leave Lucasfilm? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I've had rumor after rumor that have come up. Supposedly she's leaving, then she stays. She's supposed to have been leaving now again after Dial of Destiny comes out, now that they're canceling Indiana Jones. Not the movie, the character. They won't use the character anymore because obviously he's not the kind of character they like. But it seems like she just keeps hanging and hanging on forever. Now it's not just Luke Skywalker, but all the original trilogy characters. WDW Pro said, the original trilogy characters are stuck in the past, good for stunt cameos and for legitimizing new characters and stories. However, various partners believe if they become desperate enough that Luke Skywalker can be used as a Hail Mary to save the brand if they completely go off the rails on the brand, which they really should look at the brand and realize they already have done that. You know, they need at least one or two iconic characters that are tied into a brand. Marvel has Spider-Man. It's always going to be Marvel's number one character as far as I'm concerned. It's the first character I think of when I think of Marvel. If you don't have at least one character that is the real anchor, the iconic thing that represents the brand, then what are you doing? The brand is never gonna resonate with people. We can only access brands through characters. You have to have the character. He also explained this information came from a meeting two years ago and was confirmed again at a meeting 10 months ago. He specifically noted, following the success of The Mandalorian season two, that was Lucasfilm's position. They came out and said, you will not get Luke. WDW Pro has done some great articles also on thatparkplace.com. I've covered some of them, and he seems to have insight and connections with the toy industry. The toy industry 
because there's a lot of manufacturing of toys. Things have to be done way in advance. They need to know what the promotional efforts are going to be and how characters are going to be represented in films or television, whatever kind of merchandise that they're making. So they get inside information on what's going to be going on in the future. A lot of leaks from WW Pro, but also from other sources come from toy companies. The rumor echoes a previous one WW Pro reported on back in December 2020. He then noted, behind the scenes, large swaths of Kathleen Kennedy loyalists are messaging back and forth about their disdain of Luke Skywalker, Caucasian male being brought back in any valiant form. He added, in fact, I'm even told that individuals at Lucasfilm have been reading articles here on Pirates and Princesses, that's a cool website too, as well as watching videos on Clownfish TV and are now actively planning on how they can roadblock retcon attempts of Dave Filoni and John Favreau to make Luke Skywalker a hero once more. Specifically, he noted that these Lucasfilm employees were planning to introduce ideas and narratives that would make a Luke redemption effort difficult and were reportedly working in private messages to sabotage attempts by Filoni and Favreau via minor mediums such as graphic novels to push the Last Jedi narrative even harder. The goal is to canonize concepts in the coming years that would prevent Luke and Grogu from becoming the future heroes that Favreau has planned. This is insidious and ridiculous. WDW Crow clarified, these people are incensed that the reaction to Luke Skywalker and the Mandalorian has been incredible, meaning incredibly positive. Leak sounds very credible to me. A Lucasfilm employee previously had a picture of Luke Skywalker with a giant red X across his face as discovered in an episode of Rebels Recon on the official Star Wars YouTube channel. Previous Lucasfilm employee Justin Bulger claimed the image was his desk and was part of his decorating style. However, Kathleen Kennedy made it perfectly clear during an appearance at Fortune Magazine's most powerful women summit in 2015 that she planned to radically change not just Lucasfilm's internal culture, but also the type of stories they would tell. Specifically, she planned to inject feminism into Star Wars. Kennedy detailed, quote, I think the interesting path we've had is the conversation that took place around consumer products because there are a lot of companies that were in place who frankly didn't initially feel that Star Wars were for girls. And when you have a company situation where between Lucasfilm and Disney, we were all looking at the situation saying, no, it's Star Wars, we have to change this. We have to make sure that we create products that are in a sense appealing to both boys and girls. What's wrong with that? Of course, it's impossible. Barbies are not appealing to both boys and girls. They are appealing to girls. Star Wars was already appealing to boys and girls. It just wasn't a girl-focused product. They've been desperately trying to make Star Wars a girl-focused product, and obviously, it's just not worked out. Kennedy also relayed, the fact that the company was bought by the Walt Disney Company has been amazing because they very much support the fact that we're trying to grow in the workforce a number of women in executive positions and in all positions inside the company. And with the movies that we're making and with the protagonists that we're putting in the stories. So I get a huge amount of support with that. Good job, Bob Iger. Look what you've done. She then touted, but we have 50% of our executive team are women and six out of eight of the people in my story group are women. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that would be surprised that we're making Star Wars movies and the majority of people involved with the development of those stories are women. And I think it's making a huge difference in the stories we're trying to tell. Well, it certainly has made a huge difference in the story they're trying to tell. Women can be good writers. There's no question about it. But if the agenda is we're going to change what this franchise is, we're not going to honor the story. We're not going to honor the characters. We don't care what the fans think. We're changing this to something that we hope it could potentially be. And in that way, also, we're taking it away from boys. We're taking it away from men who love the franchise. And now we're just going to give it to girls and everything's going to be great. It doesn't matter if women write that or if men write that. It's going to be garbage. And that's what Star Wars has turned into. Obi-Wan Kenobi actor Ewan McGregor also revealed that Lucasfilm scrapped an idea that would see the series focus on Kenobi and Luke Skywalker rather than Kenobi and Leia. As reported by MovieWeb, McGregor said during an appearance at Fan Expo Boston, it was going to be a story about me and Luke. It was going to be that, and that was one of the genius moments where everyone went, wait a minute, and then changed it. That's the beautiful thing about how passionate Disney, Lucasfilm, and all of us are who were involved with it from the beginning is that we try really hard not to let anything of the bad just to protect your experience of seeing it for the first time. He added, I think it's really cool that Disney and Lucasfilm care so much for the fan experience. They really want you to have 100% experience the first time you see it, and if you've read that and that leaked and this came out, it's just a bit of a shame, isn't it? It's like looking at your Christmas presents before Christmas Day. Well, the idea that they're trying to block and cancel Luke Skywalker 
Yes, it's a rumor, but I, I don't see how we could question that that's something that they're trying to do at Disney. Recently, Kathleen Kennedy made an announcement of supposedly three new Star Wars movies. Many Star Wars movies that she's said were coming and have been rumored to be in development have also been canceled. There's no reason to think that we're gonna see Star Wars movies anytime soon, or of course that if we were to see them while Kathleen Kennedy is in charge of Lucasfilm, that they'd be any good. I think she is going to leave Lucasfilm soon. I think Bob Iger's 4,000 layoffs are happening this week. We've heard about them coming for months. Now they're finally here. There's massive cutbacks at Disney. And you have to wonder if you're making 4,000 employee cuts and not at the theme parks. You know, these are people that are in executive offices and some of them entire departments like Marvel Entertainment completely closed and folded in under other operations under Kevin Feige. If you've got 4,000 employees to spare, how many do you really have to spare? Another 5,000, another 10,000, another 15,000? I think Lucasfilm will get folded in under Marvel. It's not like Lucasfilm is making all that many TV shows. It's not like they're making any movies. They already cut back drastically on the output of the Marvel movies and the Marvel TV shows. So to take on a little bit of extra production really wouldn't matter in terms of the management, the overhead and the expense. You'd also get rid of all of these people that obviously they've been given years to show what they could do with the classic Star Wars characters, with new Star Wars characters, with unlimited resources essentially, and they've completely blown it at Lucasfilm. The concept, the theory, the idea that Kathleen Kennedy had has not worked out. So there's really no reason for them to continue a separate studio producing Star Wars when all of the content is not well received anyway. They could make plenty of bad movies and bad TV shows as a division of the Marvel Entertainment Group, the same way they could do it separately, but without all the additional expense. Would actually make Bob Iger even look good, and I'm sure they're considering it now. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you surprised to hear that Disney is planning on canceling and really de-emphasizing Luke Skywalker, or did you kind of have that impression already? Because, you know, way back in 2019, they were talking about how J.J. Abrams was supposed to be wrapping up the Star Wars Skywalker saga, and they were supposed to be introducing all this great new Star Wars stuff that, you know, really they didn't. Also, let me know what you think. Did you realize that they're going to be canceling Indiana Jones as well? They got rid of Han Solo. They're getting rid of Luke. They now have to get rid of Indiana Jones. And even recently, Harrison Ford was saying this is going to be his last appearance as Indiana Jones anywhere but they're also retiring the character because, hey, it's Disney. Why do they need classic characters when they can just create their own new terrible characters that nobody really cares about? So let me know what you think in the comments below. Always appreciate your comments. Always love to see your comments. Please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon with another video. And if I don't see you, I will miss you.